read each question, the answers, and then read the question again. Remember, you can pause it if you need to take some time to answer your question. Question one, which of the following was not an important change brought on, uh, brought about by the Industrial Revolution? Was it A, the invention of machines to do the work of hand tools? B, the emphasis on human and animal labor in the production of goods? C, the adoption of the factory system? Or D, the use of steam and other kinds of power in place of humans and animals? Question again, which of the following was not an important change brought about by the Industrial Revolution? Question two, the Industrial Revolution is commonly believed to have begun in what country? Was it A, the United States, B, China, C, Great Britain, also known as England from the reading, or D, India? Once again, question two. The Industrial Revolution is commonly believed to have begun in what country? Question three. Which statement best describes the Industrial Revolution? Is it A, important inventions suddenly changed life all across Europe? B, there was a gradual change in the way people lived and worked? C, the method of production changed from machines to hand tools? Or D, it destroyed farming and agriculture and created industry? Once again, which statement best describes the Industrial Revolution? Four, what is one way improved agriculture contributed to population growth? Is it A, it led to better sanitation? B, it created a surplus of food? C, it meant that horses could be used for transportation? Or D, it led to the production of more wool for warm clothing? Question four, what is one way improved agriculture contributed to population growth? Question five, how did enclosure affect British farmers? Was it A, farms became less productive? B, farmers learned to use steam power to harvest crops? C, the number of farmers shot up from five million to about nine million? Or D, many farmers lost farms and moved to cities? Question five, how did enclosure affect British farmers? Question six, what was one of the major uses of high quality iron? Was it A, to make tractors, B, to make roads, C, to make railroads, or D, to make airplanes? Question six. What was one way, what was one of the major uses of high quality iron? Question seven. For what two reasons did the Industrial Revolution begin in Britain? Was it A, Britain lacked natural resources and steam power. B, Britain had falling prices and cheap transportation. C, Britain was able to grow cotton and had a stable government. Or D, Britain had plentiful natural resources and easy access to the sea. Question seven, for what two reasons did the Industrial Revolution begin in Britain? Question eight, the flying shuttle and spinning jenny were technological advances in which of these industries? Was it A, transportation, B, steam power generation, C, the textile industry, or D, the shipping industry? Question 8. The flying shuttle and spinning jenny were technological advances in... Question 9. What effect did new machine technology have on the putting out system? Remember, the putting out system was the system in which people worked out of their homes spinning and weaving cotton into cloth. Was it A, it made the putting out system more economical, B, it ended the putting out system, C, it resulted in more employees being hired to work in the system, or D, it caused more workplace injuries. Question nine, what effect did new machine technology have on the putting out system? Question 10, how did labor and capital combine to create the Industrial Revolution? 
Was it A, capital was invested in factories that employed the workforce? B, workers invested their capital in new factories and technology? C, the upper class opened businesses? Or D, the labor force used capital to hire entrepreneurs to start factories? Once again, question 10, how did labor and capital combine to create the Industrial Revolution? Question 11, in transportation, steam power was used to do what? Is it A, toll bridges, B, flying shuttles, C, canal boats, or D, locomotives? Once again, in transportation, steam power was used to operate 12. Those who benefited most from the Industrial Revolution were A. Entrepreneurs B. Women and Children C. Former Farm Workers or D. The Industrial Working Class Question 12. Those who benefited most from the Industrial Revolution were Question 13. What caused the growth of cities during the Industrial Revolution? Was it A. Growing demand for more farmers B. Creation of a new middle class C. Unsanitary conditions or D. Need for factory workers Question 13. What caused the growth of cities during the Industrial Revolution? 14. Why did factory owners often prefer to hire women? A. Women were highly skilled B. Women worked harder than men C. Women did not need health benefits or D. Women could be paid less than men. Question 14. Why did factory owners often prefer to hire women? Question 15. During the Industrial Revolution, life changed in what basic way? A. People migrated from villages to work on large farms. B. People migrated from rural areas to cities. C. People migrated from cities to small towns or D, there was little to no migration of the population of cities or towns. Question 15, during the Industrial Revolution, life changed in what basic way? Question 16, this power source was a major reason the steam engine became a force during the Industrial Revolution. Was it A, nuclear, B, gasoline, C, coal, or D, wood? 16, this power source was a major reason the steam engine became a force during the Industrial Revolution. 17. How did the pace of the Industrial Revolution differ from earlier political revolutions like the French Revolution? Was it A. It was a slow process as new technologies and advancements took the place of human and animal power. B. It was a rapid shift over a few years resulting in a new way of life for most people. Or C, it was a slow process that saw people migrate from cities to rural areas to work on farms. Or D, it was a rapid process in which people began to rely heavily on animal and human power for work. 17, how did the pace of the Industrial Revolution differ from earlier political revolutions like the French Revolution? 18, which two advancements in transportation and communication were a direct result of early advancements during the Industrial Revolution? Was it A, airplanes and telephones? B, steam engine locomotives and telegraph? C, subway systems and the internet? Or D, cars and the postal system? 18. Which two advancements in transportation and communication were direct result of early advancements during the Industrial Revolution? 19. What social class benefited the most from the Industrial Revolution? Was it A, industrial working class, B, industrial middle class, C, peasantry, or D, farm workers? 19. What social class benefited the most from the Industrial Revolution? 20. What definition below defines what the putting out system was? A. It was the process of large machines being placed in the homes of people to create cotton thread. B. It was the process of people using hand tools to weave cotton thread, which was then sent to cities to be finished. C. It was the use of machines such as the cotton gin to speed up the process of the picking of cotton. Or D. The development of a common currency. 
20, what definition below defines what the putting out system was? 21, which of the following was not a challenge faced as a result of the Industrial Revolution? Was it A, tough working conditions, B, child labor, C, a middle class arose, or D, crowded unsanitary living conditions emerged? 21, which of the following was not a challenge faced as a result of the Industrial Revolution? 22. What impact did the Industrial Revolution have on population distribution? Essentially, where people were living. Was it A, population shifted largely from rural to urban or city areas? B, population shifted largely from urban to rural areas? C, population remained stagnant? Or D, population migration from Europe to Asia increased? 23. Cottage industry. Did it A. Decline during the Industrial Revolution? B. Expanded during the Industrial Revolution? C. Shifted from textiles to iron production? Or D. Provided jobs for small farmers whose farms were no longer profitable? 24. How did population settlement patterns change during the Industrial Revolution? A. Population shifted from urban cities to rural farming villages. B. Population shifted from rural farming villages to urban cities. C. Population dramatically decreased as a result of new farming methods. Or D. Population settlements stayed relatively the same. 25. Increased numbers of unemployed urban workers resulted in a. Wage increases, B. Wage decreases, C. Wage stagnation, or D. Wage inflation. 26. The process of enclosure resulted in all of the following except A. Greater efficiency in crop cultivation, B. Greater profits for landowners, C. Increased rural populations, or D. Increased urbanization. 27. What new power source was key for increased factory production and transportation? Was it A. Wood-burning boilers, B. Oil-burning steam engines, C. Nuclear power, or D. Coal-burning steam engines? 28. Which of the following was not a reason Great Britain led the Industrial Revolution? Was it A. Large amounts of capital from thriving overseas trade? B. Lack of government stability? C. A strong British Navy? Or D. An abundant natural resources? 29. The flying shuttle, spinning jenny, and water frame were all inventions that increased production in what industry? Was it A. Auto, B. Agriculture, C. Communication, or D. Textile? This is the last question on the test. If you need to go back, feel free to rewind the video and go over your answers again.